guys be here welcome to my channel verily vaga bonding winter is here festivals are going on and the festival of festivals is going to begin in the next few days wondering what am i talking about yes you heard me right i was talking about the festival of festivals the pondal festival The festival of Nagaland is held between 1st and 10th of December every year. The festival is organized by the government and various tribes of Nagaland participate. It features cultural and traditional dance performances, art exhibitions, games and much more. If you're planning your first ever trip to Hornbill Festival Nagaland, there are 10 things that I really think you need to know before you go. Number 1, apply online for an IELTS. What is an IELTS? IELTS is an inner line permit which you need before you enter Nagaland. The Nagaland government provides these permits to tourists to allow them to stay temporarily in Nagaland. How do you apply for an IELTS? What you have to do is just go to Google and type IELTS Nagaland. The first link which you are going to get is of ielts.gov.in. Okay, this is only for the Indian nationals. Foreign tourists except Chinese and Pakistan nationals have to register themselves. to the foreign registration office of the district they visit within 24 hours of their arrival or they can go to the police station and register themselves for chinese and pakistan nationals you still need the protected area permit and the restricted area permit to enter nagaland now for my indian audience let me show you how can you get an ilp so we were at ilp.gov.in now the first step is to register your phone number then the second step is to fill the ilp form and submit it Then you have to wait. It will take approximately twenty four hours to get approved. If it doesn't get approved, then you have to follow the steps again. And once it gets approved, you have to make the payment. And once you do the payment, then you can print the E I L P and carry it with yourself. So yeah, here uh, you can see the checklist as well. So please uh, make sure that you have all the documents when you are filling up the form, and then you are sorted. Very sad, but yeah, this is true. Roads in Nagaland are extremely bad. You can only get to Kohima and Kisama Heritage Village by road, cause the Hornbill Festival is held at the Naga Heritage Village in Kisama, which is around 12 kilometers from the capital of Nagaland, Kohima, and 82 kilometers from the nearest airport and railway station, which is in Dimapur. You might think that you may take only 1.5 hours because it's just 82 kilometers. Do not do that mistake because it can take you up to four to five hours. So plan accordingly. How much will the taxi cost you? You can go to the Hornbill Festival website. Here you can see they have estimated how much would it cost you to reach places you wanna visit. Number four, from where can I get the festival ticket? The festival ticket you can go to the Hornbill Festival area, the Naga Heritage Village. and there you can collect the festival ticket the entry ticket is just 20 bucks if you have a dslr it will cost you 30 extra and if you have a video camera then 50 extra number 5 remember that you cannot drink the tap water yes i made that mistake because i assumed it's a mountain area so yes the water the water in the mountains are fresh and clean no it's not true for nagaland you cannot drink the tap water Yes so what you can do is the, the, there are water bottles available you can buy them check the seal and keep yourself hydrated Now since we are talking about drinks let me tell you Nagaland is a dry state but there are few shops where you can get alcohol Now I'm not going to suggest you to try uh, alcohol but what I'm going to suggest you to do over there is try their traditional and special drink called zuto Yes zuto is a local drink one must really try if you are going to Hondal festival You should definitely try Zuto and let me know in the comment section whether you liked it or not. <laughs> okay, number six. This is something I would highly recommend. Meet the tribes during the festival. There are many tribes in Nagaland, but 17 tribes have been officially recognized by the government of Nagaland. So where you will find the tribes? Where you can meet them? You can meet them in their morangs. That is meeting houses which they themselves make to showcase their ancient tribal culture. Each tribe has been given an area representing their particular village. Number seven, beware of raja mirchi. The raja mirchi is the world's hottest chili. I am going to tell you a funny story behind this. I was very confident because I love spicy. I went. There was this wedding I was attending in Nagaland. And I was when everybody was like, "This is this is spicy. You should take very little." I was like, "No, I eat spicy food." So 
I just took the chutney and the rice and I uh, since they all were eating from hand so I also decided to use my hand instead of the spoon so I started eating and guess what I started crying man yes I started crying because my mouth was on fire yes I have never had any chili like this ever before so my experience was <laughs> very funny and um, amazing as well because i'm going to tell you one thing after i had raja mirchi i was having it again and again because it's very tasty and the special chutney which they make oh my god it's amazing so yes just be aware of that mirchi that's called raja mirchi if somebody tells you to try it make sure that you try very little because it's very spicy if you can take it then probably you can go ahead but do try it out Nagaland is a state where people have got the best dressing sense. So when you're visiting Nagaland, take out all your best dresses or whatever you want to wear. Simple and casual clothes are going to go for every occasion except if you're going on a trek. If you're going on a trek, which I would highly recommend, please carry your trekking essentials. Since we are talking about trek, I'm going to talk about Zuku Valley. Do not miss Zuku Valley. It's a nature's wonder. Oh my god, words are going to be short if I'm going to start expressing about how incredible that place is. A secluded valley nestled high in the mountains is breathtakingly beautiful. I don't know how to express how beautiful that place is. It's a fairy tale location for sure. So go see yourself. Number 10. Prepare to fall in love with the people of Nagaland. Oh my god. I am in love with the people. Nagaland, you have my heart. I am going to be honest guys. I had an incredible time in Nagaland only because of the people. And I believe a place becomes special because of the people. And I'm going to show you all my journey you know, of Nagaland in my upcoming vlogs. And you're going to see how hospitable the people of Nag Nagaland are. I love Nagamese people. They are so warm and genuine. They have the most incredible smiles and kind eyes. They have a great sense of humor and they are fantastic to talk to. So that's all for now. So I'm going to give you two bonus tips. The first one, once you enter the festival, go to go straight to the information center, get the brochure and then go ahead with the festival activities. Second, that do not forget to bargain at the shops. Yes, you need to bargain at the shops and then you're going to get the reasonable rates. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions you know where to where to find me you can reach out to me on Instagram and you my handle remains the same verily vagabonding and if you have any questions related to the Hondal festival or anywhere in Nagaland please do reach out to me thank you so much for watching and if you haven't clicked on that subscribe button please make sure to click on that subscribe button and say hello in the comments below all right until next time follow your dreams and keep vagabonding